Hello, my name is Oliver. I'm from webmetros.com, uh, at which I have a podcast screencast, and this is the first one. Today I'm going to show you some uh, color scheme apps. Because, you know, uh, most designers, they often have trouble finding the right color schemes. And I'm going to show you two apps. One is the uh, old established de facto gold standard of color scheme creation tools. It's called, funnily enough, Color Schemer Studio 2. Uh, it's an old geezer. And then we have a newcomer, which is uh, called Spectrum. At first, when you see this app, you can see that it's a, it's a huge app. It doesn't feel huge maybe, but it is a huge app. It has so many options and it feels a bit messy to me. It really does, you know. It's a nice app, but uh, it's like... Uh, I really don't like it. If I was the biggest color nerd in the world, I would probably love this app. But uh, Live Schemes is... Uh, uh, one of the tools that are supposed to help you create uh, great color schemes because then it uses color theory methods for choosing colors that match and a nice thing about this is you can alter the colors and then the the uh, live schemes will update accordingly live and now it feels like it's gonna crash it did. Wow. That's uh, that's amazing. So let's go to Spectrum, which is the color app that I will really recommend because it's um, it's really amazing. Let's choose some colors from an image. And uh, I can then choose how many colors I want grabbed from that image and uh, I can choose maybe uh, eight colors like here and then I can just uh, simply delete the ones that I don't feel like I need so I do like this and maybe this is too dark and then I have these colors to work with I can then change them individually by by selecting them which is a bad idea, I think, because then you lose all the color theory and it's like, oh, does this match or does this match and blah, blah, blah. But uh, once you get into the color theory, then you can really do some nice stuff. You can increase the saturation by, by uh, getting closer to the center or longer from the center and then you can decrease the brightness of individual colors, but it retains the hue, which is very, very versatile and gives you good flexibility, but on the other hand, uh, helps you create a, a color scheme instead of if you were going like uh, arbitrarily like this. This one is really, really cool, the analog color scheme, because you can create some very nice balanced color schemes and you can widen this to make the colors more different from each other or you can uh, decrease it Shit. to make them more similar and of course you can vary the saturation and you can rearrange the swatches very easily this app has some really 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 crazy nice features first one is it has a full screen mode Color Schema Studio, the previous app we looked at, doesn't have that. So let's try it. Oh, now we are immersed in our color scheme. There's no distracting menu and no distracting background. It's just you and your color scheme. I really, oh, I love full screen apps and especially for an app like this. But what will this look like? And this is where this app is really creative and really shines because I can enter preview mode which uh, lets you control the visualizations by pressing the uh, uh, left and right arrows on your keyboard and then once you have a visualization that you like you can press the up and down buttons on the keyboard to see it on a dark grey background, a light grey background, a white or a dark background it's a really nice, very immersive 
way of looking at your colors. Let's try some of the other options here. Here, and then I can drag this down, bring it over here. As you can see, it's very, very intuitive, and that's something I really missed in uh, Color Schema Studio, the, uh, the old de facto King of the Hill app in this genre, because this is a lot simpler and it's more intuitive and is what I, I feel a creative person needs in order to, to really be creative and have some flow when doing uh, work like this. And if you have an app that gets in the way because it's too distracting, then it just doesn't flow, it doesn't work uh, as well as a simple and nice app like this. And the uh, last thing I want to show you is uh, the, um, the palette save options, because you can keep your palettes and you can, you can tag them. So you can be like, uh, hmm, this one is a warm color palette and this one is a greenish color palette and this one is a reddish one and uh, this one is a warm one and uh, this one is a pastel one and maybe we could also call this a pastel one i know it isn't but i just want to show you that you can then filter by tags by pressing show me the pastel patterns and then we have the pastel patterns and show me the warm ones show me the uh, reddish ones and then it just uh, comes up and ooh la la you have all your color palettes managed and you can filter them by tags so they don't uh, become an overwhelming choice and uh, of course you can also pick colors from uh, from the screen and put them right into your palette as you can see this is a really 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 uh, fast and effective app to use to make your color schemes and uh, I haven't experienced a crash, I haven't experienced any bugs, and I'm not affiliated with the makers of uh, this app. They're called EigenLogic. I don't know where they come from, uh, but it's it's a it's a very very nice newcomer to the color scheme creation app uh, space. So get it on the Mac App Store, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for being my friend.